State. Yeah, I mean, I tell people all the time when I first got to college, like my freshman year, I was just playing ball. And, you know, I was living at like high school, but I didn't truly understand like the nutrition that goes into it, the maintenance programs that you have to do to stay healthy for 12 full games and at the next level, 17 plus, you know? So I think it's just really important for me these last two years that, you know, I've gotten into uh, prehab, rehab, and my nutrition is the most important thing to me. I mean, I like to weigh anywhere from uh, 236 to 239, and I feel like that's a really good balance for me to fly around still and as well as still be heavy enough to stay high. Can you talk about your? Uh, you mentioned wrestling was a thing you used to do, uh, and, and we've all obviously heard uh, how much it benefits offensive line. But how do you think it benefits the stack backer position? Yeah, I mean, I think that you guys probably saw it on tape this year. I mean, I think ta wrestling makes tackling so much easier. When I get my hands on you, I mean, you're gonna come down. I understand leverage and I understand torque. I mean, wrestling, I mean. It's not like they're just running, you know, they're defending takedowns and stuff. So you really have to know how to get people on the ground as well as against offensive linemen, you know, hand placement, hand fighting, we do that in wrestling all the time. So I think it's one of the most beneficial sports in the world. Hey, how do your coaches compare you to some of the North Carolina State greats like Manny Ross and Mario Williams, Bradley Chubb, those guys, and your impact on the game? Yeah, I mean, those are, I mean, those are all time greats, you know, I would like to, I would like to put myself up there. Hopefully my name goes up in the ring of honor with them here soon, but uh, I mean, I talked to Bradley Chubb quite a bit, and I mean, just the, the role model he is, the person he is, the player that he has, I mean, those categories, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Those categories, I mean, they're just on different pedestals. Those guys are NC State greats. I still got, I mean, I still got to go have an NFL career and have a really good NFL career and put in the category with those guys. What 40 are you trying to hit? What are you trying to hit in the 40? I want to, if I run four, four, five and under, I'll be happy with myself, so. Thank you. Yes, thank you. You, you talked about you know having an ideal weight, and I feel like among linebackers, you're pretty unique, like body type. You're long, but you're still really fast. How did you kind of decide where you wanted to be, and was there like a blueprint you kind of looked at, maybe a player or player type that you were trying to emulate there? Um, I think I think it was more just personal preference, like you said. I mean, I have a kind of unique uh, body style. I'm a lot longer, a lot taller than most linebackers, but I just had to find a good weight because in 2020 I played around like 233 to 235, and that's the season that my shoulders got hurt. And, I mean, I played well. I was flying around, but I just didn't have enough body weight on me to stay healthy. And these last two years, I mean, I felt really fast. And I felt really strong anywhere from 236 to 239. So just that the balance that I found, I think, is the perfect recipe. Have you, you know, as being a guy who maybe doesn't look physically like a lot of people that play his position, how did you, were there people you, you looked at to emulate? How did you kind of go about, like, trying to, to mold your game? Yeah, I mean, the one person I've been watching a lot for the last two to three years is Logan Wilson. Uh, I mean, he's just not only in the run game, but I mean, he gets so many picks in the pass game. And I think that, you know, that's what linebackers turning into is not just fitting the run. It's, you know, can you impact the whole game? Can 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 you be 20 yards down the field impacting the uh, pass game as well? So, I mean, and the one person I've looked up to my whole life is Luke Keekley, you know, just the way that he plays, the passion, his fearlessness. And I mean, also, I mean, he was amazing in zone coverage and man coverage. So just that versatility, I think that's what this position is coming to. Pete, you talk about your body size. Um, you know, you pop on the film against like Louisville, especially this year. Um, your willingness to you know, attack the quarterback in the backfield, also sure tackler and great coverage. Where do you think you translate at the next level? Like scheme wise, do you want to like stay like a wheel backer, maybe like a Mike linebacker? Where do you think you can go more I mean, I think I can do either one. I mean, out here I'm playing Mike Backer. I got the green dot on and I'm communicating and I love it. But also if a team wanted to uh, pick me up and put me at will, I'd be excellent in space. I mean, if you turn on the tape, I played in a lot of space at NC State. I also played in the box. So I mean, either one, Mike or Will, would be amazing. And I think that I'd really prosper both of them. And I know you just kind of started the interview process. Is there a certain team you've met with? I've watched you've been about those teams. Uh, I mean, we've, I've, we've met with so many teams. I've watched so many different films with a bunch of teams. But I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you.